Welcome to Bangkok, the heart of Muay Thai. I'm here for a training month, five gyms, five days. We will explore diverse training philosophies and techniques and the spirit that makes Muay Thai a global phenomenon. Join me in this journey. Before we dive in, please subscribe, share and like. Over the next five days, I will be training at five different gyms, each with a unique focus, from traditional techniques to modern innovations, and from gyms known for producing top-level fighters, to those with a friendly tourist environment, and even one specializing in the Moi Hao style. And we built a lot of Moi Hao champions. We will dive into the depth and spirit of Muay Thai, experiencing the discipline, intensity and resilience required to become a champion. Before we continue with the Muay Thai Marathon, let me share an amazing resource with you. Welcome to Fights Academy, your ultimate destination for mastering martial arts. Explore our intensive library of animated tutorials, in-depth training videos, and exclusive content from world-class martial arts. Whether you are a beginner or experienced fighter, you will find everything you need to elevate your skills. Visit fightsacademy.com and join our community today. Now, let's get back to the heart of Muay Thai and continue our journey. We're going to start our first day in imminent air gym. This gym is a training in a traditional way. This gym is known for uh, producing many professional fighters. And let's get started. I started with two hours of training, which began with typical multi routines. We began with shadow boxing to warm up. After that, we moved on to bad work, practicing virus strikes and combinations. We also did some glinching as part of the overall routine. It was a solid standard session, much like what we would find in any other multi gym. This feeling, like when you feel you can't breathe, sweating, is the best feeling I think in the world. As we continue training, the trainer started teaching me some of the gym specific techniques. While they were effective, there wasn't anything particularly unique about them. My day finished in the uh, imminent air gym. I can see that I learned, I learned from them. They are professional. I learned some techniques. And uh, in this traditional Muay Thai gym, we are going to continue now to a modern gym. And uh, let's continue our journey. Keep watching. Keep watching, subscribe, share, and like. Our second day will start in Pin Tindi Kingdom. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Muay Thai go to like uh, the international. So we design for not the typical Muay Thai gym. We focus on uh, the national. Here, start 50 years ago. Before, we not have this, this building. And right now, we build this building for the foreigner. We focusing on the foreigner. Training at PTNV was an amazing experience. The people and trainers who are super friendly. And the gym itself is very clean. The atmosphere is electric. Muay Thai is really good. Muay Thai is really one of the best Muay Thai I spent two hours training and I loved every moment. This gym has a great reputation for producing top tier fighters and champions, both Thai and international. It's easily one of the best Muay Thai gyms in Bangkok, known for its high standard and vibrant community. Done the training in this gym, this modern gym, Fit Yan D. Training for two hours. Training Muay Thai is really tough. This can shape your body, can teach you many techniques that uh, can help you in real life. My next stop or my next gym is called Sit Song Binong which means two brothers. This gym is well known for producing many professional fighters. Let's get started. Let's meet 
the owner, his name is Kristen. And uh, let's start training, see how it's going on in this gym. Let's go. Hello, Tristan. Hey, Zubi. Welcome nice to, to the meet gym. You. This is the pass from two, since 2008. 2008. You're open since 2008? Yes. We, have, we had international fighters come in like Joe Ryan, Asa Tenpao, Fight on One Championship, and a lot more other foreigners come in and train here as well. Sitsang Binang Muay Thai Gym is one of the top gyms in Bangkok, located in a quiet area that feels almost like a forest retreat. Training in one of the best Muay Thai gyms in Bangkok. Christian and his father Tom, the owner, welcome me warmly. The gym is known for producing high level fighters and champions. The atmosphere is friendly and professional, and I really enjoy the training here. Well done for today. I love the, the place. It's very quiet. It's like 30 40 minutes from the city center. You can train and enjoy here. And uh, just wait for me for the next videos around the world exploring the martial art world, many countries, many cultures around the world, meeting with the grand masters and masters and professional fighters. This is my journey and if you want to join me with my journey, just subscribe, like and share and support. So we travel together around the world, meet amazing people and the culture behind this amazing martial arts. I'm visiting the fourth gym, which is called FA Group. This gym is well known in Glinching. The training style is called Moi Hao. Hao means me. Let's see. What's Hi. your name? Yada. Yada. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Moi Khao is uh, basically Muay Thai. We have like different style of the Muay Thai. But um, this gym, we are, everyone know us as uh, Moi Khao because we clinch a lot and we'll teach a lot of the clinching techniques and we built a lot of Muay Khao champions. Muay Thai has several different styles and one of them is Muay Khao, which focuses on the use of knees as a powerful weapon. At the FA group, I trained with Tom, a two-time champion, known for his expertise in this style. Our session focused entirely on Muay Thai techniques, emphasizing knee strikes and close range combat. We trained together, practicing several moves, and it was a great hands-on experience. The gym has a friendly and welcoming atmosphere with a mix of all skill levels, from beginners to advanced practitioners, and even those training for fitness purposes. I enjoyed my time at FA Group and it added depth to my understanding and skills in Muay Thai techniques. I'm here at the fifth gym, which is called Hong Sita. Hong Sita is a Muay Thai school. Next, I trained at Hong Sita Muay Thai, a well-known gym that offers a good environment for beginners. Here, I joined a group of Thai fighters for the training session. The gym has a friendly atmosphere, making it accessible for those new to Muay Thai. 
During the session, we focused on the basics, going through fundamental techniques like punches, kicks, and pacing combinations. The training was solid and thorough, covering all the essential moves needed for a strong foundation in Muay Thai. However, I found the gym to be very standard without any unique aspects setting it apart from other Muay Thai gyms. For someone looking for more advanced or unique training, it might not be ideal choice. Overall, Kong Sutan Muay Thai provides a reliable and solid training experience especially for those at the beginning of their Muay Thai journey. It's a regular Muay Thai gym that excels in delivering the basics effectively, making it a good starting point for newcomers to the sport. If you want to do the basics of Muay Thai, this place is good. I've done training now. We have finished the fifth gym. It's good for beginners. The people will be very nice. training marathon comes to close, I'm leaving with new insights and give respect for this incredible martial art. Thank you for joining me in this journey and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.